Hey guys, and you're in here. Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. In the last episode, we did some stuff and found some things, and we kind of forgot how to get the moments, which are the item of this dungeon, because I... yeah. I remember now. I also remember that, this gave, that these items gave me a ton of trouble the first time I played this game, and the same applies to a lot of people's first time playing this game, because the moments are actually remarkably well hidden for a dungeon item. Ow. Forgot there are blade traps in this room. Anyway! Right here is a bombable wall. Right there. And in here is the item of this dungeon. The moments. Dig, dig, dig to your heart's content. And indeed, that's what they do. They're a combination of the shovel from the previous games and a wall break and a uh, wall breaking ability. If you see dirt walls like this, you can break them using the moments. Along with that, anytime you're on soft ground. I think that's how these work. Been a while. No, it doesn't seem to work that way. Maybe it does. I need probably need to actually go outside of the dungeon to find that out. Yeah, now that we have the moments, we can make a lot of advancement in this dungeon. Pegasus boots, Pegasus boots, Pegasus boots. Dash! Ha! 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 No! Pain! Hurts! Poor hearts! Damn it! Expletives! War Masters! War Masters! Ha! Uh, yeah. No! 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 Damn you! Die! I hate you! <laughs> Hurt. Needed that. Four HP. Wait for it. Ah, you see the sword's just barely hitting through the wall there. So if I wait for it to get into range, I can hit the spin attack, which a lot of people don't seem to realize that spin attacks actually deal double damage. Seashell. Seashell, 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 shell, seashore. That's what I think of that. That's about as well as I could do that. I could probably do it right if I tried hard enough, but I'm not really feeling like doing some tongue twisters right now, because... are off. Irritating. That's what they are. Dig, 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 dug. Playing Dig Dug now. Sorry, I'm extremely out of it right now. Like, you guys don't even know, man. And I forgot to shrink myself so I can get the key. See, it doesn't even show him shrinking or going down inside of it. It's just an animation of him popping out the side. Health is for losers! Besides, I have a fairy. I'm fine with dying. I'm not fine with being returned to the dungeon entrance, however. Must get big. Must be careful because some of these have sparks in them. 
That is what they're called, by the way. They're sparks. Actually... Ha <laughs> ha! That was a bad idea. Always oh, not a full health. Something that could be said about that. I'm at full health now. so good. I really should drink less of it, but soda is just so good. Now you can fall down these holes. To a... Damn it! I fell down the wrong side! I forgot it was there! You see, it's been so long since I've played past the Fortress of the Winds that... From this point forwards, I'm essentially playing completely blind. I believe this is the big key, though. Yes! Now we have to go all the way back to the dungeon entrance. You know, those wall masters or floor masters would have come in very handy right now. I'll shorten my trip. What are you doing, man, burping all over the place? Who do you think you are, Nintendo Capri Sun? Another Kinstone piece! You see, green and blue Kinstone pieces are able to be found anywhere. But red kinstone pieces are one-of-a-kind uh, uh, kinstone trades. They're unique and they usually offer the best rewards. Like, for example, the upgrade to the boomerang, the magic boomerang, is obtained through a series of red kinstone um, fusions with several characters. Huh, I wonder what we're supposed to do here. Yeah, push the block into place. Okay, guys, we're going to see the boss of this dungeon soon. I'm going to completely ignore them because I don't need to bother with them. This is not the boss. Or is it? I don't particularly remember. Yes, it is. Um... Why are we fighting a Kirby enemy? Red side's dead. Blue side's dead, making him fall the ground. And now we get on here. Oh. Uh, not there. Yeah, why are we fighting Wham Bam Rock? Go inside of him? Break one of his pillars. Crap. A virus came and took me out. I gotta be very careful not to get squashed when you're Minish. It hurts more, I think. I've never actually been squashed when I'm Minish, but it seems like it would hurt more. Who am I talking like that? Doctor Who? Get out! Gotcha now! Oh my god, red beetles! I forgot you did that! It truly has been a really long time since I've played this game, man. I don't even remember this guy. I need to use moments? Come on, man! I 
considering it's Zelda, we probably have one more repetition of doing this before we actually, you know, win. Ow! 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 Preemptive ow. Because I'm just that sh certain of my own death. Laser beams! What next? Is this your fireballs too? Do you have to eat the fireballs? Fireballs? Yum! Yes! Wait, we're still inside. And somehow we managed to get larger without using a Minish Portal. Ezlo, if we could do this, why do we need to find the Minish Portals? You got a heart container! Weapons have been increased and been replenished! There's a bird here. And another bird, and another bird, and another bird, and... Let's have it. We are the tribe of the winds. Long have we lived with the winds. We have mastered them. Now we join them. Together, with the great winds on our backs, we head for the skies. For those who come seeking our power must play the notes Zepha teaches. May they lead you onward to the power that you seek. You got the Ocarina of Wind! North, south, east, and west are all just a breath away. That ocarina does not have the proper number of holes for a transverse ocarina. It's supposed to be either 10 or 12 holes. But however many that was... <laughs> that sound originated in... The original Zelda game, it carried over to many different Zelda games that have warping in them, and especially, remarkably, it carried over to Super Mario Bros. 3 in the form of the warp whistle. He's actually speaking of a crest that we saw earlier that we couldn't actually get to. Now I came in here because you can actually fuse with Eldari, or you should have been able to. Huh, guess I was wrong. That's how you get the remote bombs, he gets a stroke of inspiration from you fusing with someone, so... That's why I don't quite have them yet. The specific crest he's talking about is here, by the way. Wait, no it's not. What am I talking about, man? This one? Yes! Library, and he is in semi retirement in the town library. He wants to fuse against. Ooh, he's a red fuser. And I don't have the proper red kin stuff, of course. Okay, guys, we're coming up on 15 minutes now, so we're going to end the episode off here in the house of this wise minish who doesn't actually have a name. In the next episode, we're going to go to the town library and talk with Elder Library. Until then, I'll see you guys later. Third speed attack. See ya!